Everything is energy. The cause of everything is energy. Everything you see in the physical reality is only the condensed condition of cosmic energy. With a low frequency, it appears as a physical form. And with a higher frequency, it appears as light or it is invisible. The same principle we are using with our light ships. Our ships are not just an object, they have a consciousness, because we are flying with divine energy. With this divine energy, we can fly everywhere in the universe in a second. We can appear in every possible form, as a crystal, a cloud, a light, an airplane, transparent or invisible. I traveled to many places on Earth and everywhere I had sightings of my spaceships. In the year 2005, I took a picture of a spaceship in Germany that was in the transparent state. In the year 2000, I was with a group in Puerto Rico and this ship was hovering above us. In the year 2002, I had a group in Austria, and one night many light ships appear, and I filled one of them. In the year 1995, I had a contact with my star family and my higher self. In the year 2003, I filmed one of my live trips in Avebury, England. Only extraterrestrials who are in service of the light can fly with spiritual energy. The moving star of Bethlehem was only one of our light ships. Every time the Bible says something about a cloud with a voice inside, it was our ships camouflaged as a cloud so the people don't get in panic. We are the angels described in your Bible, mostly Pleiadians and Venusians. People like Moses, Elias or Hezekiah were not prophets, but just people who were our contactees. The light of our ships is not a technical light, it is a spiritual light. Our ships have the radiation of love. That is how you can distinguish our ships from the ones of the dark side. In order for you to see our spaceships, we have to lower the frequency. The ships of the dark side have a technical light, like a car and they can do technical things that look to earth people like wonders. They can create fake wonders by creating 3D holograms and with manipulation of matter so that people believe in religions and stay undeveloped. 
But when you have a spiritual awareness, nobody can deceive you, because you see the energy behind it. If you are connected with the love of the existence, you will see real wonders. If you use the love frequency of the cosmic energy, you can transform the physical reality around you, like our space brother Jesus showed you 2000 years ago. And he was not the only one, he was not the only teacher we have sent to you. In all the ages there were spiritual teachers from us and us. A real spiritual master is always telling you how you can become a master too. And you don't want to be worshipped. There are many spiritual masters on our spaceships. They are souls who have more experiences and help others with wisdom. And those spiritual masters are not known on earth. The learning never stops. Even in the highest dimensions you have to learn something. As the frequencies are rising on earth, you will feel changes in your physical and emotional body. In the beginning, your body will free himself from all disturbing energies. And this time, you want to sleep a lot. Later, you feel more energy in your body and you need only less sleep. The light body gets activated. Sometimes you will hear sounds in your ear because the body is adjusting to the higher frequencies. The pineal gland between your eyes is stimulated and you begin to see etheric energy. You will have the wish for a healthy body in order to hold this high energy. In the emotional body all unsolved blockades are coming out so you can free yourself from all ballast. Spiritual people can recognize this and therefore they are developing faster. People with ego don't recognize this. They want to keep their ego in masks. They stay arrogant and are insulting spiritual people. When you are vibrating higher, you will see changes in your surrounding area. Wrong people will leave or will attack you because their ego is afraid of the divine light of the truth. With a higher love frequency in your body, you start to be intuitive and you are listening to your higher self, not to your lower self. You pay attention to your thinking, talking and doing. You are using the qualities of your soul, real love, wisdom, beauty, joy and real intelligence. Love vibrations open the way to the higher knowledge. Light and love are the keys into the higher dimensions, not intellectual data in your head. Living spirituality in your daily life, not only reading about it. Knowledge without love is empty and limited. Spiritual light has an awareness. It has informations from higher dimensions. So it is always important to use light in your meditations. And you can charge this light with a quality. Here is a little meditation that you can always use. Create with the power of your thoughts a light column that is connecting your body with the universe. When you breathe in, attract the energy of the universe down into your body and charge the light with these words. Love of the universe. Wisdom of the universe. Knowledge of the universe. Charge yourself with these energies and feel the power they have. Be one with the cosmic energy. Become a light. Become love. Love is the solution for everything. The meaning of life, 
is to have love in your heart.